Now it's time to talk to our final head coach. Of course, it's the head men's and women's track and field coach, Natalie Bach Prather, who had some good success in the ASC championship meet up in Abilene. The men's side taking third place, the women's side taking fifth place as well. Uh, so, Coach, uh, you did pick up a couple of victories. Obviously, you had Mac Broussard winning, but I think the biggest surprise came from your 4 by 100 relay men's team. I mean, came out of nowhere just to pick up the victory. But, but in all honesty, uh, just kind of talk about the overall meet and what you like from your team uh, from this past weekend? Uh, I couldn't say enough about both these teams. I mean, this is by far the best that either team has done in the history of our program. I mean, and this is really our third full year to have a full track team. Um, you know, and I think, like you said, the four by one, we knew they were capable of it. We just didn't know if they could pull it together. And it was just, it was a beautiful thing to watch. Um, you know, our sprinters, we've really recruited in a lot of sprinters. And, you know, last year, I think we went from having one sprinter in the final 100 and final 200. And this year we had four ETBU sprinters in the finals for the 200 and three in the 100. I mean, that's huge progress. You know, we were very, very thrilled, of course. A lot of that goes to my assistant coach, Jamal Williams. He's done a phenomenal job with them. Um, he's also done a great job with our 400-meter hurdler girl, Brooklyn Butler, who came in. She got the win. Um, that was also a race. I mean, it was a race up unto the finish line. It was so exciting. Um, and, of course, like you mentioned, Mac Broussard. I mean, we ran that poor boy to death. He was in five events, but his first one he won. He got the 10K, um, and then he ended up placing in the steeplechase that evening, the 5K in the morning, the mile early, <laughs> later in the day, finish up with the 800. Um, so we had a lot of really, really wonderful moments this weekend for both our men and our women, and I couldn't be more proud. And uh, just talking about uh, your team, Coach, and uh, just, just kind of talk to me about the amount of fortitude that takes to run in five to six different events. You know, you talked about uh, Mac running in his five events and even Zach Biles, you know, running in that the 200 and the four by four uh, after not running all year. Just talk about what type of fortitude that takes uh, and what you saw out of your team this weekend. Well, that fortitude, I mean, that is just sheer mental toughness. I mean, both those guys, including Xavier Montgomery, who also were he was in the 400 and the 200 and the 4x4 and the 4x1 and he had to do prelims Friday and finals on Saturday um they're they're athletes you know they're athletes they're strong they've been well trained well conditioned um you know what sets them apart is their mental toughness and they can come and they can bring it every single time no matter how tired they are or how fatigued and they all know conference you know it's Armageddon you know it, it is time to bring it and I, you know, they, they did a phenomenal job. They did a great job with that. Now, we found out a few moments ago that even though this match technically would be the last uh, track meet with the exception of NCAA regionals, you did schedule another upcoming match at the University of Houston, of all places. Uh, so I guess this is kind of one of those just to see if you can get some of your guy, more of your athletes to the NCAA regionals. Just kind of talk about uh, exactly what's, what's going to go down as far as uh, the next match is concerned. Yeah, so we're done with our regular season. Um, and then the very last week of May is the NCAA Division Three Outdoor Championships. And so we technically have about four weeks to see if we can get anybody qualified. So anything we go to from here on out is called a last chance meet. And so we have scheduled University of Houston. We're going to take Thomas Reynolds in the shot putt, um, Zach Biles with the pole vault, um, Roderick Monroe in the, in the open hundred because he's got a really good time there. And then, of course, our four by one men's relay team. And that'll just give them another opportunity. They're both, they're all very rank, very close to being ranked. You know, Zach is ranked in the top 10 right now. They take the top 20 of all events. And so everyone's within that 20, 20 mark. So one, one more chance, you know, we may see if we can find another meet as well, just to see if we can get that mark that we need to get there. And, uh, uh, Coach, just, just talking about, you know, the team and, and uh, how well you guys did uh, this past year. And I know that a lot of times, even if you get first place in a lot of the meets, a lot of it just depends on uh, the numbers. So just going forward, is, is that kind of something that you guys kind of have in the back of your minds? Or are you guys just uh, continually to focus on just uh, individual improvement, just getting better as a, a unit? 
Yeah, we definitely want to focus on getting better as a unit. You know, we're, we're focusing on all the kids we have now. Let's let's get better. Let's get faster. Let's get stronger. But we're also bringing in a lot of numbers. Um, you know, that's our goal. We want to have numbers on both our men and our women's side because we want to be strong. We want to get faster, but we need and we want that depth. And um, I think we're on our way to that point. All right, Coach. Well, best of luck to you uh, as you continue, hopefully, to get a couple of athletes in the NCAA regionals as well. They go down to the University of Houston. Uh, stick around, folks, because when we come back, Mark and I will have our final thoughts as usual. Just a moment. <laughs> 